guys welcome back to our channel it's Sophie I'm super excited for today's video I'm doing a review I'm doing swatches I'm doing a demo on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow gel so if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts and seeing the demo then just go ahead and keep on watching so first things first I'm gonna show you guys the swatches I definitely feel like showing the swatches is super important because it's how I found which shade worked for me just looking at the bottle alone was not enough for me to pick which shade so swatching them definitely helped me pick my shade obviously it got this in PR that's why I have every single shade on me but I just thought that it'd be really helpful to film a review for you guys also swatching them helped me figure out the formula a little bit and this is what they all look like swatched. If you guys want information on like price point and when they're available or where they're going to be available, you can look in the description box of this video. So first things first, I decided to pick up two different shades. I'm using soft brown for the front of my brow and I'm using chocolate for the tail of my brow. So I've seen a lot of people apply this in several different ways with different techniques. A lot of people have been using it with a brush to fill in sparse areas, but I personally do not have that problem. I have pretty full brows to begin with. So I just thought that I would try out a different technique and just simply brush through my brow. And my first impression was that it was very messy, um, but using the regular dip brow by ABH is pretty messy. So I just wanted to focus on applying it in a blended way because honestly, blending this product is quite difficult because it is a thick gel. So I pretty much just applied the soft brown to the front of my brow and the chocolate to the tail of my brow. And then I'm just going in with some concealer to clean it up. And honestly, before going in with concealer, I had no idea if I liked the product or not. But once I carved out my brows, it definitely made me think that this product is quite impressive and also uh, pretty quick because... My normal technique honestly requires a little bit more effort. This is a very quick and easy product if you have thick brows like I do. There are a lot of tutorials, especially on Anastasia's Instagram, of people with really sparse brows using this product and it looks really, really good. Also, it's just going to require a little bit more effort drawing in those individual hairs with an angled brush. Then I just cleaned up the top of my brow and then I'm just going to be setting my lid and me personally to see if I like the brow. I have to apply a lash. I have to do all of the steps that I would do for my makeup. So I just wanted to really quickly do that on camera just so you guys can see the finished end result. For lashes, I'm applying my Shop Sophie Bella lashes in the style Jamaica. If you guys want to check these out, the link will be in the description box down below. I'm just applying some mascara to my lower lashes. And this is the finished result. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the idea of this product? Do you think that it's something that you'd be interested in? Let me know in the comment section down below. So here I just wanted to show you guys how the product works once it's completely dry and as you can see very very little to no transfer and this was pretty impressive to me considering how thick this product is and how intense the pigment of this product is as well and it was actually quite difficult to take off with a wipe as well which was pretty impressive but yeah my final thoughts on this product are that I actually really really liked it and I think that it's a really fast and it's a really innovative way to apply your brow. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!